right, welcome to Mrs. Parks' kindergarten class. This is going to be an overview presentation of how our year is going to look. So, um, in the beginning of kindergarten, I get a lot of kids maybe can't write their name, cut, cut with their scissors, use their glue properly. So your student is going to grow substantially throughout this year. By the end, they're going to learn to read, write, count, and know their numbers to 100. There's a lot of growth in kindergarten, so expect to see your student have a lot of, um, gain a lot of knowledge throughout the year. Um, I've been in education for four or for 10 years, teaching K through eighth grade. Uh, this is my second year in kindergarten. I have a bachelor's uh, in science for business management, and I'm working on my master's in education. Just a little bit about myself. I also have, I'm married with two young kids, a 12 year old and a nine year old, which are a big, big part of my life. So I'm also a mom and I'm really, you know, I've been there, done that when they were in kindergarten and I know that they're your babies and I will treat them as such because I know what that feels like. A big part of our classroom is working on our rainbow words. There's a wall over there where we have our rainbow words listed with all their clouds and their names. This is our high frequency words. They need to be practicing this daily at home. This packet will go home with all the words. Once they pass one band, they move to the next band. By the time they're done mastering the entire rainbow, they will know over 90 high frequency words. So this is really important to help them with their reading throughout the rest of their life to master some of these words that they're gonna see all the time in text. This is going to be our daily schedule, which is also listed on that board over there. And it's laid out pretty um, you know, routine throughout the entire week. And so we always start our morning with PE, a lot of movement. We do a morning message, we have circle time, which is where we count, do our calendar. Uh, we have language arts every day, math every day, writing. Uh, they go to PE twice a week, and we go to computer lab and library once a week. So this is our schedule, and they will become very familiar with it. Okay, homework. Homework will go home on Mondays and is due back on Friday. I give about one sheet a night. Um, some parents want more homework, some parents want less. I really want them to be doing other things and practicing reading and their rainbow words every night. And so really what I want is for you guys to have them do one sheet just to reinforce what we've already learned in class. Uh, there are some projects that will go home throughout the year for 100th day and there's a turkey um, project and that's for really families to work together on those projects and turn them back into me. Uh, center time is part of our everyday routine and we come in after lunch and we work on centers and there's always, um, we have a kitchen in the back of the classroom, there's a house center, an art center, um, a music center, listening center, blocks. We also have math and writing. And this is really a time for your child to work independently and really kind of get that, um, you know, practice that they need, but also center time is also a really fun time in our classroom. Uh, big, I'm big on behavior. We really cannot learn if your child is not behaving and making good choices. And it's also disruptive to other kids. And so I'm a big, um, person on my behavior chart. And so just to give you an idea, this is our behavior chart over here. And everybody has a clip with their name. So you'll start green, yellow, orange, and red. Green means great. I did not have to talk to your student. They followed the rules and they did awesome all day. If they get their clip moved to yellow, that means I've had to warn them too many times and their clip is now on yellow. It's just a warning just to let them know, uh-oh, you're kind of going near orange. Orange means five minutes off of recess. Now, I never take away a full recess for kindergartners because I need them out there running and getting their energy out, but five minutes seems like a long time for them, so that's their, if they get to orange, that means that, that I've had you talk to them way too much, five minutes off recess. Red, if they can't clip down, move to red, uh, either a call or a note will come home, and that really just means please talk with your child about appropriate behaviors at school. Students can also move up the chart. I don't want them to get to red and give up on the day. I don't want them to get to red and say, oh, I'm just, you know, I'm on red, and my mom's getting called. If they change their behavior, I will move them up as well because I want them to know that, you know, good behaviors will also be rewarded, not just bad choices. So I don't know if you guys have any questions now, but I'm gonna open up the floor to questions. 